Okay, yeah, we're continuing with Aztec interdisciplinary um, software material. Um, we're doing mathematics section. Um, this is um, the section of measuring um, different things and converting, um, measuring and converting um, of different units. So things you can measure are distance, area, volume, weight, temperature, and time. So we did length, which are in inches, feet. Um, well, these are in American units, so as well as yard. We learned each foot has 12 inches. A yard has three feet, so you can work with that when converting. Um, liquid capacity is measuring like volume or fluid ounces um, you use um, you can use teaspoons tablespoons which is three teaspoons or an ounce cups which is 16 tablespoons or eight ounces in a cup pints are two cups quarts are two pints gallons are four quarts so you can use those to convert between each um, other um, so the next section is weight so an ounce, um, it, when, when measuring weight or mass, um, can, can be used in ounces, um, and then a pound can be used, and um, ounces point zero six two five pounds. Um, a pound is also sixteen ounces backwards. Um, a ton is actually 2,000 pounds. So just you have to just remember that. Um, an example, if you have eight pounds and you want to find the ounces, you multiply that, the, the number by 16. So there's 16 ounces in a pound. So eight pounds times 16 gives you 128 ounces. So when you're converting, um, it's just a little note that when you're converting from a larger measure to a smaller measure or unit, um, you're going to multiply. If you're converting from a smaller measure or unit to a larger measure or unit, you're going to divide. Yay. <laughs> okay. And uh, just a random fact that if most scales, like the ones used at a, in a cash register, um, when you buy groceries, um, they calculate price as well based on the weight. There, it's just um, interesting fact: electronic scales measuring weight and calculating price. Um, the next thing section is temperature these are measured in degrees and this is compared to freezing freezing is ice boiling or steam is um well if you have uh, water turning into steam that's boiling um you um you can use a thermometer for the air or for body temperature etc um, and in the thermometer you have a liquid usually I guess it's mercury um, is what it is um, which moves the liquid moves up as it gets warmer so uh, you can use Fahrenheit as it as a um, means of measuring in Fahrenheit um, freezing is 32 degrees um, Boiling is 212 degrees. In Celsius, um, freezing is 0 degrees and boiling is 100 degrees, which is um, usually known. Um, just to note that body temperature is usually 98.6 degrees um, Fahrenheit um, or can be a range between 94 and 106 in um, human beings and or you know um living things um and 98.6 is 37 degrees centigrade 
if you have temperature below zero, for example, the outside air can be anywhere between negative 40 degrees, so minus or below freezing, to 120 degrees on Earth, I guess. Um, and then, or like in the, the, the outside air. And then in the oven, however, you can have a range um, of between 200 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's that, temperatures. And then in the next section, we have time. Um, well, okay, time is measured by a clock, obviously. Um, if it's not digital, traditionally, you have the longest hand representing seconds, the long hand is minutes, the short hand is hours. Clocks are divided in two hour, 12, excuse me, hour increments. Each hour has 60 partitions representing 60 minutes and for the minute hand and the, for the second hand representing 60 seconds in each minute. The next section is the metric system, which is used widely used in the world. Um, uh, the metric system is based on meters for distance, liters for measuring um, fluids and volume, and grams for me measuring weight. Um, so you're measuring the same things we just measured earlier, but it's just a different system used um, usually in Europe, etc. Um, so first meters, you usually use like a ruler. Um, so you're measuring length or height or distance, whatever. So distance um, in one dimension meters is in converting to feet. One meter um, is equal to 3.28 feet, if that's useful for you. Um, okay, the next information the nice <laughs> the next section is liters liters uh, are used to measure liquid volume or capacity liters are um are the same as cubic inches if that means anything to you <laughs> so the, the cubic inches and liters both measure volume um so liters is the metric um and one liter is 60, 61 cubic inches. It's a random fact. All this stuff you can find on Google as well for conversion of um, units and such. Um, you just search um, converting like liters or volume and etc. Um, all this stuff is there. <clears throat> they have like a little app where you can convert this to that and that to this so, um so that's volume and then weight or mass is uh, measured in grams so okay so a little bit about words so in the metric system you use a thing called a prefix and the prefix is helping you to uh, know w which measurement you're talking about. So the root word is um, uh, the word that the prefix is um, added to. So the, the size is um, indicated by the prefix. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight prefixes in the metric system signifying the size um, and this prefix will be added to the front of the unit, like depending on you're talking about grams, talking about liters, or talking about meters, uh, distance, volume, weight. So, um, but you're all you're always going to use the same prefixes in the metric system. You just need to memorize these prefixes. Um, it's not that bad, but yeah. <laughs> So in these terms, they're going to be um, either larger than the basic unit so or smaller. So we'll continue this in the next section. Thank you.